Here's my little Nano VNA. Handiest little gadget. I want to show you real quick here um, one of the applications that you can't duplicate um, without some real expensive test equipment. So anyway, here's uh, the deal here. I've got a little uh, bandpass filter that I made. And this is for a uh, 30 meter transceiver that's uh, under construction here. Anyway, it's uh, got two variable capacitors here and here. And two circuits that are coupled together, two resonant circuits that are coupled together. And little transformers uh, on the input and output to uh, bring it down to 50 ohms. So I'm going to measure this with the uh, Nano VNA and do a little tuning with it and um, show you what it's all about. So stand by. Okay, I've got it all set up here. Let me turn the 20 meter rig off here in the background. And I've uh, gone through the calibration. I'm going to hook up the bandpass filter to the VNA now. This requires a two port calibration, um, which is no big deal. And I have one marker set up at 10.120. You only get a hundred points, and my span here is from seven megahertz to fifteen. And we can widen it out a little bit later. But um, so anyway, over here the sweep settings. I'm going to uh, start a continuous sweep here, and you can see the response. I don't know if you can see the uh, little red marker. But at 10.120, it's way over here. And you can see the two sections of the filter. They're a little bit overcoupled there. So we'll try tuning it here with a uh, little tuning tool, those NPO variable capacitors. Should, there we go. Let's see if we can get it. A little bit closer to where it should be. It takes a second or so. Um, because it's not the fastest thing in the world. And it's only covering 100 points for any given span. Here we go. We're getting close now. I don't know if you'll be able to see that marker or not. Okay, that's pretty close. That's uh, 2 dB of insertion loss. And I can add some more markers here. Whoops, I went too far. I can add some more markers to actually get the um, close to the 6 dB points or the 3 dB points. And over here on the left side of the graph is a whole bunch of info. Um, on impedance, complex impedance, return loss, SWR. I don't know if you can read all that. Let me see if I can zoom in a little. No, I guess not. But anyway, all that information is available for any of the markers. So I can add another marker and um, it will spit out all that information about impedance, uh, series, inductance and capacitance, parallel stuff, SWR return loss, quality factor, and the S parameters. So, pretty cool for 50 bucks. Alright, let me uh, pause this for a second and we'll take the span out um, to like, I don't know, 1 to 30 megahertz. And this bandpass filter will show you what it does across that whole spectrum. So, QRX. Alright, so here's the VNA. We're spanning now from 500 kilohertz to 30 megahertz. And um, you can get an idea of um, how sharp the filter is. 
it could be sharper. Um, there's uh, little tweaks that can be made, especially to the coupling capacitor between the two resonant stages to uh, tighten up that bandwidth a little bit. But I think for my purposes, it's going to work just fine. So that's the overall response across the HF range of uh, this little 30 meter bandpass as uh, done with the VNA. So, that little gadget right there. And if you're interested in what it looks like, that's a schematic with the, the values I have in there currently. This 8 picofarad capacitor might want to go down a little bit. If I've got something stable um, below 8 picofarad, that might make the uh, skirts a little bit steeper on the response. Um, because I don't know for a fact, but I know right next to that 30 meter band, there's a pretty strong shortwave broadcast band down around 9 megs or nine and a half megs, so it might be real nice to make this a little bit steeper, at least on that side, but we'll play with it and see what happens. Anyway, that's it for now. That's the Nano VNA. Less than 50 bucks off of eBay and includes the calibration standards. Um, <laughs> it's just amazing. Keep tinkering. See y'all later.